Okay, so now it's time to uh, get rid of this uh, clip on the back of the shank and uh, these two layers, they are no longer necessary, they can be removed so, and now I'm going to go a little trick, you guys uh, do it your way, but I'm going to show you mine Control E Accompanied with background. Now let's go back here, press Ctrl and click. Now go to L, press Alt and hold. And let's do this. Okay, that now the only thing selected here is this part of the shank that has brought so I'm gonna press Ctrl C to copy Ctrl Shift V to paste on the exact same place so now hide this as you know this is the part select so now I'm going to press Ctrl and click on the this layer make it as a selection a selection again hide it I go back to the background where I paste the original image and I'll press the delete key that will bring up the, the fill uh, window where I can select content aware and click OK so now um, Photoshop came up with this uh, what what I thought would be a, a good way of uh, fixing the shank. So the original is like this. This is the, the image after the deleting with the content aware selected. So let's see what we can improve on it. Obviously, Photoshop repeated some patterns, and it's not something that I would want to keep. Go control. Uh, pressing alt, alt, the Alt key and delete this part that I don't like and see what content I wear we'll go with it okay a little better Control D so now it's time to get rid of this uh, old fashioned way healing tool and see if it this guy is a little bit the better yes it does my objective here is to make it look a little less uh, obvious that Photoshop uh, created this back of the shank and make the back of the shank a little less busy because there's so much stuff going on in the back and it, it ends up calling the attention of the viewer to it. So if I can clean it up a little bit, make it look a little less obvious then uh, I would have achieved my goal looks a little better so now um, go back here press control and click I can go back to the background control C oh there is still a pattern here Let's see if I can get rid of this looks too much like this A little better. Control C. Now Control Shift V. Now I want to bring back up this, the original image. I can put this on in front of it. It's gonna look a little better. Okay, so Control A to select everything, and press the Delete key. 
and now select background color so I cleaned up the background Control E merge it with the, this layer Control and click to make it as a selection so now I do the cleanup that I started out on the background on the background image see if I can clean up a little bit painting outside of the the back of the shank selection a greater uh, ahead of time okay it looks a little better oh, but for the final touch I'll look press S and then do the touch like this fix it manually of course it is time consuming if we just use uh, the content aware uh, tool and left it the way it was it would still look passable but would not look good and uh, I, that's not what I want I want it to look good not passable okay so control zero Oh, it looks a little better, better than this. So it looks more realistic. Make it just a single uh, reflection. This. So the big shank doesn't look all that bad anymore. that's it that's what I want you guys to do improving the appearance of the ring so control D can remove this and that's it for the remote cleanup of the back of the shank